Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Robin Crawford and Wendy Williams situation. So if you guys do not know, I had did a video about her the other day. Robin Crawford is basically Whitney Houston's, I don't know what you want to call her, ex, you know what I'm saying, lesbian lover, ex situationship. I don't know. But her and Whitney Houston went from being, you know, best friends to damn it being lovers. And so now she's shopping her book. Her book has been in the works for a few years. It's finally out. So I guess she decided to go on to the Wendy Williams show to promote her book. But for y'all young folks who don't know, Wendy Williams and Whitney Houston had beef back in the day where Whitney Houston went in on Wendy. She cussed her out on her show. And so Robin is admitting that during that time, her and Whitney Houston were actually going to pull up on Wendy. That's how pissed off Whitney Houston was. So this whole situation's a hot damn mess, honey. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip of Whitney Houston and Wendy Williams getting into it. This is from like 2003. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord, have I waited for this day? Have you? Well, yes, I have. Haven't you? Whitney. Yes, dear. Absolutely. I know it. I don't you, believe that I've ever met you in my entire career. Ain't that funny? You talk about me all the time. And you are top billing. Is that why you talk about me all the time? Absolutely. You, even you don't even know me. Uh, but here's the thing. I talk about you in two ways. In the, in the way that the media talks about Whitney, yes. but I always talk about you as being one of the greatest voices of our time. Mariah Carey is another one. You two do two separate works, but you have a voice that is just unbeatable, Whitney. I love you, Whitney. I thank you for that. I really do, because I know, in spite of everything, you play my records. I do. I know that. And I also feel like you and I have something in common. We do. Um, well, yeah, besides, besides the, you know, the motherhood thing and, okay. and, and, and so on and so forth. Whitney, your, your new CD is out now. Yes. The first week it did very well. It's not doing quite as well right now compared to perhaps what the record label thought it would be doing. Well, it's never what you thought I should be doing. Okay. It's never what you think I should be doing. It's never what you think you say I'm doing. It is what's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? I don't want my album to peak too quickly. I don't want it to peak too quickly because I want to go to the summer uh -huh. and the fall. Okay, I understand. So there is a, a plan. Okay. You don't, you understand what I mean? Like you said, your schedule on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, who you going to talk about? How you going to talk about them? Yes. Well, that's how I do. So we play, we love the song, the Dear John Letter here on the show. Yes, ma'am. And um, speaking of letters, you no longer have to write to Bobby. Bobby's out of jail. Bobby's back home now. Yes, baby. You ain't, uh, don't you, you get on this. Hold on. So you got the 411. You should know. I want to make sure that I have all my stories straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. He's home. Well, and intact. Do you regret Diane Sawyer interview? No. Why should I? Well, it didn't exactly show you in the best light. You don't think so? Well, you know, Wendy, you don't show yourself in the best light. People still listen to you. Yeah, but I'm on the radio every day. Yeah, we, see, we, don't, we just don't get to see your face, but they should know what you look like. I understand that, uh, Whitney. Perhaps one day I will have a TV show, but in terms of what I do, yeah. when I'm not shown in the best light, I guess mm -hmm. one of the best things that I love about my career is, is that there's always tomorrow to come back. And, see, and I love about my career uh -huh. is that my music speaks for itself. Yeah, well, it does. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I am the second wife's most interviewed behind Monica Lewinsky in the history of interviews. I'm surprised you're second to her. I mean, as far as... You know, I mean, I'm not, like, too cool about coming behind her, but, you know, it's all right with me because, um, you know, I got a lot of mileage from that. And I think that people, basically, the people that I talk to that have made comments to me uh -huh. were very proud of me because it was a moment. See, I'm not one for sitting down and talking to people. I, you know, you can talk all you want about me, but my mother always said, don't try to find a lie with truth, you know, because then you make it worse because people like to lie for whatever reason they like to lie on you about. Right. However, um, I thought that it was a major step for me to sit with Diane Sawyer, the biggest interviewer in the world, and talk with her and give her what um, basically um, I thought I could get, you know, and I think people enjoy that, seeing me and seeing um, me growing and being a spiritual person and that I have a family that loves me and cares about me and protects me and um, that was the um, idea well, Andy. yeah, no, it, it was very entertaining. You thought it was entertaining? Uh, yes. Ah, you're funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, please, me and everybody, we, we were all watching together. I recently... There was a very funny moment. 
Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. From from start to end, it was quite entertaining, Whitney. Well, I'm glad you entertained because you watched it, didn't you? So, so Whitney, as as far as you stand with drug use, is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. You. No, you're not talking to me. I'm a mother. Only my mother has privy to that information. You talk to your child about that. Don't ask me no questions like I'm a child. You talk to your baby about her, what, what she gonna be uh, confronting and what she gotta deal with. And uh, and. Don't ask me like I'm a child, because I'm not a child, Wendy. My child is a little boy, and I will talk to him yeah, at drugs. Don't talk to him about that shit. Don't talk to me about that shit. But listen, Whitney, what, I, I, I will talk to my son about drugs, because I have don't been me, Wendy, where the world the speculates day. where you don't are, me, which is... Uh, I was a full-blown cocaine addict, so well, I... I problem, not mine. Move on. Well, you know, that was my problem, Whitney. Did you help yourself? Did you ask God to help you? And No, I, ma I managed, thank God, because I have a good man. And, and, so, and so thank God I was able to just rise up. Thank above God, it Wendy. and quit and all I ask is okay okay and you on Diane Sawyer also mentioned that um You'd want to see receipts behind the drug use. Which, I know, yeah. man. If I spent that much money, somebody better give me the receipts so I get a tax return. Well, speaking of spending money, so recently I was hearing that you were trying to trim the budget, which, by the way, Whitney, I thought that this was something very... I mean, who the hell do you get your information from? Who's calling you and telling you? Um, uh, well, I got this story from a gossip named Steve Hers. You ever hear of him? No. Well, like you said, gossip. Yeah. Steve yeah. Hers is a West Coast correspondent, and um, we we uh, I communicate with all the different gossips. Uh, it's it's what we do, you know. Uh, you are going to have a gossip lunch, huh? Something like something like that. <laughs> anyway, Whitney. Yeah. Uh, they're saying that um, you're doing some massive budget cuts. I'm doing massive changes. And you know what? Yeah. I, I wanted to let you know that this is something I think is good. This is a good Whitney thing. You like it. You approve. Yeah, I really approve. Oh, Whitney, please. Listen, that we're saying that you were uh, you cut your mother's um, See, you don't know what the f allowance. You don't make me curse on the radio. I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, come on. Well, Steve was saying it was from about like $1,600 a week to about $500 a week. I you to kiss my Okay. He and also can anybody else ever think I'd do that to my mother, you low down dirty He also was letting me know that Michael, Gary, and your sister Donna, who run your nippy company, are also uh, experiencing the slashes across the board. They were saying that you have a 24-hour-a-day bar on site at your studio that you're now cutting down and you're not making your personal chef available to people to just come up in your house and just order food and stuff. I think that's all good. When did that ever happen? I don't even know what the f you're talking about. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, Wendy. How is Bobby Christina doing? Growing and being a beautiful young lady that God sent her here to be. Yeah, she's nine now, right? Yeah, she is. Mm. When your husband was um, incarcerated for those few days, what types of things do you tell her concerning, like, do you say, like, daddy's away visiting Boston? Or? I don't really talk to her. Retard. She was she's a stead patient. She's a child who has intelligence. Okay. My child is smart. No, what I'm I talk to her, shut your mouth. I talk to her like she's an intelligent human being, okay? And I give her just as much as she can handle for a nine year old because I'm her mother, okay? And that's how we deal with it. Never mind what I told her, but she know the deal. Well, a lot of the, a lot of parents, a lot of parents whose spouse or what have you goes through something, a lot of, particularly because that was only eight days, would have either taken them out of school for the eight days or taken them away from watching T V to you know. No, see I do line. what I do to protect my daughter, Wendy, just like you would do to protect your son, okay? All right. You are very defensive, Whitney. I have to be, Wendy. You talk about me every f***ing day. Well, Whitney... Or every other day. Whitney, you, you keep yourself in the headlines. No, Wendy. Y'all keep me in the headlines. I mind my business. I try to maintain what I got. I want to know what I'm doing all the time. I don't give a shit about what you're doing all the time. As long as you're healthy and God is blessing you and you're doing the right thing and being a decent person, I can handle that. When's the last time you talked to Robin? About a week ago. <laughs> because I know that you and Robin were girlfriends from when you were growing up. And, and we're still friends, girl. Okay. Um, will she be working back with you, or is she still... Wendy, 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 Wendy. What's yeah. Robin not doing anything? No, Robin don't work for me. She'll work for me now. Moving right along. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. so okay. Our, our king of R&B, is he working on an album? Bobby, is Bobby working on an album? Yes, ma'am. When do you think his album will be out? Uh, very soon, Wendy, I'm sure. A numerologist came on the show the other oh, week, hell. and we we ran you guys' yeah. numbers. And for what it's worth, the numerologist said that you and Bobby are so right for each other. Honey, he, he's so right. He's never been more right in his life. That's the most rightest thing you ever said. Yeah, thank you, Whitney. Uh-huh.
Honey. All right, so you guys just heard Whitney Houston go off on Wendy Williams. She was not here for the foolishness whatsoever. She was like, you know what? I'm a grown woman. You talk to your child about drug use, bitch. You don't talk to me about no damn drugs. I mean, Whitney Houston, honey, that whole East Orange came out of her, okay? So anyhow, now fast forward to 2019, and it's funny how in that clip, Wendy Williams talked about getting a show, and guess what? Uh, Whitney Houston's, you know, ex-best friend slash lover is now on what? Her show. So during this episode is when she talks about her and Whitney Houston wanting to pull up on Wendy Williams. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Now, a lot of things that you were saying, I mean, we'd get, we'd, it was a long day's work, we get in the car, the radio is on, we lived, but everyone lived by the radio back then. We're in the car, and you're like, you're talking like you live with us, like you're, you're roommates with us. We'd be in stuff. the car, we'd be sitting still, and Whitney would say, who the, who is she? Who is this woman? I don't even know what she looks like. We were gonna, she said, we were gonna, gonna go, you were gonna jump me? We were gonna, we were gonna go, we didn't know what you looked like. Okay. And, our, and our plan was to go down to Hudson Street, and squat like Khalif waiting for you. <laughs> right outside of my Robin! I can't even fight! I would've run! You know what? Oh my gosh! We weren't gonna fight. We, sh we just wanted to see you face to face and have a chat. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of basically Robin talking to Wendy Williams. And it was really awkward. You could tell there's still some friction there. And maybe part of it is she feels guilty for being on the Wendy Williams show, knowing how much, you know, Wendy and, you know, Whitney did not agree with each other and how much they kind of, you know, Whitney disliked Wendy. So maybe that might be where some of that is coming from. You know, a lot of people feel like at this point, Robin is doing too much. You're going from platform to platform trying to promote this book. Now you're starting to look attention horse. Now you're starting to look, you know, attention seeking so people are kind of mixed on her going on the Wendy Williams show especially being that you know the whole drama between Wendy Williams and Whitney Houston you know in my personal opinion I'm not shocked she has a book that she wants to you know put out there she wants to get people on board to reading it and buying it and stuff like that basically she's trying to make her coins okay like most people are trying to do in this world she's trying to get paid and even though she held the secret for years she's not ready to tell her side of the story like I stated in my other video now I will say this I'm not shocked at all that she wants to pull up on Wendy Williams, okay? Whitney is hood as hell. You know, they try to put on that good girl persona of hers and you know, oh, she's in the church and stuff like that. But Whitney is from East Orange, New Jersey. She's definitely hood. And Robin is so hood that there were rumors back in the day that she beat the shit out of Bobby Brown. So I'm not surprised. So Wendy, you know what I'm saying, is really lucky that they didn't get a hold of her. She's really lucky that Robin didn't lay hands on her because had she done that back in the day, Wendy Williams may not have a show, okay? Because Robin, from what I heard, she can fight. She fights like a straight up man, okay? So this entire situation is a hot mess. It's very interesting to see how things have changed in like, you know, the past, I don't know, almost 20 years. Like now Wendy has a show. Now Robin's begging to get on her show. But then reverse 20 years ago, they were hunting for Wendy Williams looking to beat her ass. Now, I also feel like with her, you know, willing to go on to the Wendy Williams show and her doing this whole promo tour, I would not be surprised, you guys, if they end up doing a documentary or some type of mini movie about Robin Crawford and Whitney Houston's relationship. And I would not be surprised if Wendy Williams ends up being the executive producer, okay? Now, we know she loves producing the damn documentary. Now, some of them do turn out like shit, like the damn Aaliyah movie, but this might be really interesting if she gets on board to make some type of documentary about Robin Crawford and Whitney Houston's relationship, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. So let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Robin Crawford going on to the Wendy Williams show years later to talk about this whole situation. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.